It's another video from Aussie's Roadball. But you got a banana collection. It's another video of a toy in a box from somebody in Cyberland. Doop -doo 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 -doo. Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back and come on in. What's happening? This is my first video, my post-European video. European vacation like Chevy Chase. And uh, before we get rolling, as always, get comfortable, my friends. And uh, grab your coffee if it's morning where you're at. And uh, maybe tea or whatever the heck you're drinking. And uh, take a sip. Stir it. Give it a clink. And maybe it's lunchtime. Maybe you're in, like, the far east. So you're grabbing some sushi and a little sake. That's okay, too. The main thing is pay attention. Focus now. Direct that energy to this Amazing toy that you see on your screen. Make sure your screen is properly adjusted and that your coworkers aren't jealous and they're going to rat you out for uh, going, <laughs> doing personal business entertainment if you're in your work cubicle. So if you're comfortably ensconced in your big easy boy, lazy, lazy boy, easy boy, barco lounge or stool, wherever the heck it is, what is, whatever the heck I'm saying. See, I'm rusty. And uh, let's look at this. You know, I recently bought this and I have this already. I don't even know if I made a video of this. Probably not. I don't remember or recall. Maybe I did, but who knows? Uh, but regardless, this is the uh, beautiful Fishing Bears Bank. I love my bank toys. The thing that caught me, uh, caught my attention on this is the condition is absolutely spectacular. Glossy, shiny, like it came out of the factory yesterday. Now, this is from probably the mid to later 50s. So you're talking almost 70 years old. And this thing looks like pristine, like it was unmessed with, unplayed with. Now, the seller advertised it as non-working and I didn't even care I said this thing is so beautiful and you know mine only has I think three fish this had all five fish and I remember I bought um, a fishing polar bear fish for like 25 bucks and then it's the, not the same fish they're bigger and I was like damn it <laughs> you know I I got like extra big fish now it wasn't uh, these cool smaller fish so let me show you the box Who's the manufacturer of this, by the way? This is, uh, I don't know, we gotta find out. But look, this is classic 50s, like you're watching a uh, Looney Tunes. I'm not gonna say Disney, uh, because they don't make good stuff anymore. So we'll say a Looney Tunes, beautiful Looney Tunes, maybe an early Hanna-Barbera cartoon with these beautiful bears. They're like the three bears. And they're fishing in the riverbank here. And the son is so happy, look at it. He's gonna like chow down on, I don't know, maybe there's salmon. Mama Bear is going to cook it, and they're having a great time. They even got nice shoes on. She's got her apron. That's how they depicted life back in the day. And look at what else they do. She walks around with her umbrella. He's chasing butterfly. He's got a cane. Maybe he uh, was attacked by a polar bear. You know, they don't get along, the polars and the uh, grizzlies. So now he's limping away. And what has he got on the other hand over here? Who knows? There's his cane. I was pointing to the viewfinder. <laughs> I'm thinking you guys are seeing it. Uh, anyway, this says, let's enjoy fishing with bear families and save a million. Could you imagine saving a million? And this thing would take you like a million years, maybe. Insert any kind of coin, yada, 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 and then a yada, 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 and then with a few yadas, uh, in case it's overfill, yada, yada, remove the coin, blah, blah, blah. And I believe, I believe this is an electromagnet. Hey, this side's a little cleaner. But the box is very colorful and crisp. The uh, the sticker on here covers up the manufacturer. This is Rethel Enterprises. That must have been a distributor. So under this sticker, I'm trying to remember who the uh, Bears Bank was. And here's your past inspection. Anyway, so the gentleman sold it as non-working. And, you know, I, I'm always of the belief if it's just... This clean, you might be able to get it to do something, right? And so before, whoa, let me go here and here and here. Oh, I'm grabbing my coins behind me, sorry. So sure enough, I unpacked it. I said, well, I wonder if, if he 
got a coin, you know, partially inserted to keep that contact going. And as soon as I did that, within like 20 seconds, it started operating. But you know what? Let me fly over this instead of manhandling it. Here's the beautiful lithography on these guys. Isn't that freaking cool? All tin. There is not like plastic to be found on this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite um, bank toys. Here's some of the beautiful lithography down here. These used to go for close to 2000 in the heyday. So I got this really cheap. I don't know what he's doing here. He's, I can't even tell what that is. Is that a fish? I don't know. I don't know. Some more butterflies. Kind of like the art depiction. And back here it says, okay, there's your manufacturer, by the way, W Toys. Let's enjoy fishing with bears, family, and save a million. Look at all those patents. When John sees this, he'll have to... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. They had a bonanza of fish. And here the fish are like, why are you jumping into their pots to be eaten? I love their clothes. Just, this is just an absolutely stunning. If you're into tin litho, man, it doesn't get any better than this, especially when it comes to battery toys. For some reason, the banks are very cool. Always have been, you know, very desirable. So anyway, I did the old trick of uh, sticking the coin in here. And sure enough, it started operating. I, I wonder if the seller even, like, paid attention. Whoa, she threw that fish out of the... So he should be... Let's put this... Let's see if he uh, gets something out of the old watering hole. No? Hmm. Oh, now Mama Bear's like, dude, what are you doing? Let's see why he's... There we go. Hey, listen. Fishing, you have to be a bit patient, right? Freaking awesome. No wonder it has three patents. Will he have two in a row? Yep, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Baby bear's like stoked. Stoked. You know, when I when I got this thing working, I'm thinking to myself, well, listen, you know, not three in a row. Don't get greedy. I was thinking, uh, how long has it been since this was ever turned on, you know? We'll give him one more shot. Get, the, get that old grease a little loosened up. Try to have one last successful fishing foray. Come on, do it now. I want to turn it off. I got other videos to make. There we go. Baboom. So I'm assuming electromagnet. Unless John at the robot hut tells me different. Now, the one thing is if I, well, I'll push this down. It should end the cycle. It'll run a little longer. Look at that. Look at that. Now he's on a roll. Perfect. So what you have is a chute down that bucket that's angled down, and then it just comes down in back into the fishing hole. That's how it keeps repopulating the fish. So this will go on endlessly. Anyway, my friends, that's your beautiful battery-operated savings bank, Fishing Bears, known as the Fishing Bears Bank by W Toys Japan. Uh, do me a favor. If you like 
this toy or this video or toys in general that are from like this era and tin toys in particular, thumb up the video and share it maybe for me. That would be very cool. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. That would also be greatly appreciated. With that, thank you, my friends, for your time. And I will talk to you later.